Welcome to the Importing and Exporting User-Defined Objects, or UDOs, tutorial. WebOMW enables you to import and export projects and objects. If you export a project, all of its objects will export to a zip file. If you export objects, each one will export individually to a zip file. This is the WebOMW interface. These breadcrumbs show you the navigation path to access OMW, which is from Enterprise One Menus, Enterprise One Lifecycle Tools, System Administration Tools, and finally, User Defined Object Tools. First, let's export an object. Note that the project status where the object resides is at 21. Select the object. We'll go ahead and select the grid format and select export from the more row actions menu. A message displays asking what you would like to do with the file, open or save it. For this demonstration, we'll save it. Click OK. Enterprise One saves the object in a zip folder. We'll go ahead and select the folder where we want to save the zip file and click Save. From here, we can open the zip file and view its contents. The README text explains what object is contained in the file. Click Close and click Close again to return to OMW. Now let's export a project. Again notice that the project status is 21. Select the project and then click the export icon located in the export column. The next steps are the same as when exporting an object. This time, however, the zip file contains all of the objects in the project. So we'll go ahead and save the file, click OK. Notice this time the file name refers to the project rather than the object. We'll go ahead and click Save and click Close to return to OMW. Now let's import an object and project. When you import an object, its status is 07 pending promote. You must share and approve objects before they become accessible to users. Select a project to import objects into. The project status must be a 21. We'll go ahead and use our demo project. Click the icon located in the import column. Select Browse. On File Upload, select the .zip file that contains the object you want to import. We're going to go ahead and select this object, which is an E1 page. Click Open, and then click Load. You can see the object has been imported into the project. You will also notice that the status of the object is 07 pending promote. To import a project, click the form exit and click import. On file upload, click browse and then select the zip file that contains the object you want to import. In this case, we have a new project out here, 3500 zip, and we'll go ahead and select that project. Click Open, and then click Load. The project has been imported into Web OMW. If we go ahead and remove the user, 
we can search on that project. And there is Demo Project 2. This concludes the Exporting and Importing User-Defined Objects tutorial.